My name is Jeff Samanda. I'm president of Each Ear LLC and your host today at Advocates for Individualized Hearing Care. Today's topic, inclusion of people with impairments is a global human right. Today with us, we have Mr. Fani Dutoy. Fani is Senior Specialist, Hearing Impairment and Deaf Affairs at South Africa's National Council of and for People with Disabilities. Fani is also co-founder of Road to Independence, a more holistic approach toward the integration of those with hearing loss with consideration for functional needs and potential. Fani, you stated it is vitally important to pursue options for reasonable accommodation in line with global conventions and legislation. And if an assistive device or technology is needed to help people with impairments communicate, is effective, and has a low cost, then this could be considered a reasonable accommodation. Would you please explain your views for us? Thank you, Jeff. I would like to put this uh, statement in perspective. According to the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, states parties shall take effective and appropriate measures, including through peer support to enable persons with disabilities to attain and maintain maximum independence, full physical, mental, social, and vocational ability, and full inclusion and participation in all aspects of life. Now, state parties shall promote the availability, the knowledge, and the use of, in our case, assisted devices and technologies designed for persons with impairments as they relate to rehabilitation and habilitation. Now, to enable persons with impairments to live independently and participate fully in all aspects of life, state parties shall take appropriate measures to ensure that persons with impairments have proper access on an equal basis of others to the physical environment, transportation, information in the case of us as persons with hearing loss and communications, including, and that's important, information and communication technologies and systems. Now, state parties, according to United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, shall take all appropriate measures to ensure that persons with impairments can exercise their right to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas on an equal basis with others and through all forms of communication of their choice. Now, state parties should recognize, therefore, that persons with disabilities have a right to enjoy the highest attainable standard of health, firstly, without discrimination on the basis of disability, provide intervention as appropriate and services designed to minimize, and this is important, to prevent disabling conditions. Therefore, it's vitally important to pursue options for reasonable accommodation to include persons with impairments and disabilities on an equal basis in society in line with global conventions and legislation. And then my statement, if an assistive device or technology is needed to help persons with impairments communicate is effective and as a low cost, secondly, then this could be considered a reasonable accommodation, reasonable to society, and reasonable to the person affected by, in this case, hearing loss. Thank you, Fani. And I imagine reasonable accommodation typically is a win-win, benefiting all parties. So thank you again, Fani. I will leave your contact information up on the screen. You do important work, my friend. Thank you. So much.